What's up everyone? Welcome to yet another episode of Shoe Reviewing and in today's episode we'll be looking at these beautiful dark brown suede chaka boots from Cobbler Union. Coming up! How's it going my friends? I hope everything's good. Welcome to yet another shoe review and brand that has been requested for quite a while in the channel and the blog. Uh, actually this review has been in the works for about two years now and finally we're here. And I should mention first of all that uh, this review pair was sent to me by Cobbler Union at no additional charge and that this is actually my own honest opinion as you will see. And so Cobbler Union, you've, you've guys been asking for, you know, for them for quite a while now and I've been really trying for about two years to get a sample and one of the reasons that I didn't purchase one for myself was because I didn't know they had a European version of their website so there were no import taxes for us, but I will mention that later. Uh, this particular model, uh, I, I didn't find a specific name for it, uh, but it is just a pair of dark brown chaka boots in suede and as you will see, it's pretty darn good suede too. Uh, as far as Cobbler Union goes as a brand, it's relatively quite new compared to the other juggernauts that we have uh, in the arena these days, especially at uh, the $400 USD price points. And I think they recently actually just uh, celebrated their eighth anniversary or something. They were founded like about eight years ago. Uh, so it's pretty impressive that they have built a good reputation already in such a competitive industry. Uh, the owner, uh, Daniel, whose surname I will not try to pronounce, uh, is also an Argentinian, an uh, older friend of Norman Villalta, uh, who I covered in the previous video, and he also developed a passion for shoes after moving to the US and then subsequently to, to Europe to check things out, and he eventually founded Cobbler Union, uh, which is a brand that focuses more on the interactions and the connections between people and the artisans and the shoes rather than the name itself and giving focus to oh it's me that made the brand my name should be on that uh, i respect that and uh, if my good friend uh, hugo jacomet is endorsing the brand or endorsed the brand previously it must be that you know they're at least decent so that's what we're going to try and find out today and uh, I did have a few communications problems with them in the past, which I've covered in the written review. But so, you know, briefly, uh, I tried to get a review pair about one and a half year ago, maybe. And while they were initially receptive on Instagram, uh, communications were just stopped. And it was not until recently when Daniel and uh, uh, Katie reached out to me and through the blog and said, let's try and work together and here we are and I, I appreciate it a lot and it was great meeting them in person uh, via uh, video chat which was great. Other than that uh, you will see in this video um, you know the classic close-ups of how everything looks, how everything feels and we're gonna discuss sizing advice, uh, availability, the price points and pretty much what you should expect or are any problems that I might find while taking a look at these pair of boots. So, let's get right into the meat of the video. All right, let's begin with a close-up. And first of all, as customary, we will discuss quickly the box. The box is, you know, sturdy. It looks like a recycled uh, cardboard and everything is nice. It has a nice, easy sliding panel and a nice hole here, which is a spool and it's very convenient. Nothing else really apart from the brand logo on the top and here you can see all the details about your shoes, you know, so last, sizing and model. Inside there's not really much to show you, there is some tissue paper that is stuffed inside the shoes and there are two shoe bags. Here you can see in a nice bluish color with the Cobbler Union logo stamped on them and there are two of them. So. Very nice, very simple. Uh, it's a more Spartan unboxing, but I don't really mind. What is important for me is the shoes to arrive nice and safe and to be comfortable and easy to store. Let's move on. 
and voila here we have our nice boots and as you can see it's a quite rich suede maybe on the camera it appears a bit brighter and oranger that they are but they're quite dark brown i really like the, the color and maybe you can see how beautiful the nap is already and uh, what about the shoes themselves so first of all ankle boots chaka boots very easy to see by the two panels that you have a uh, very specific pattern usually and most of them have a plain toe and you can see the rounder shape that we will talk about soon um, most chaka boots also have two to three eyelets this particular one has two and i think it matches the design quite well as you can see uh, really nice laces I, I think flat laces work best with almost every pair of shoe that is not very extremely casual uh, you can see a few very specific design elements here and there uh, at the back and we will go through them all uh, a nice chunkier weld but not too chunky i would say uh, quite thick you know uh, vibram sole rubber sole very very nice uh, so it feels like a very you know robust well-structured shoe to hold which is always a nice touch and what should i begin with i think the first thing that i want to begin with is the leather because it's how can i show you it's very hard to show you properly how suede feels and looks but i hope you can see that the nap the nap is very it's short but it's very very soft i've seen naps that are a bit rougher and more you know firm but this one is really nice and just you can just glide your hand uh, over it i dare say that i feel these are nicer in quality or at least in nap and feel compared to my crockett and jones bench grid that i have and that's about it uh, for the leather i think it's really nice it has it's uniform apart from a tiny spot that i don't even remember where it is now that has a just a tiny bit of glue left over there uh, i think that the quality is very good and very high uh, now uh, as far as uh, the stitching goes you know chaka boots don't have so much stitching there's nothing on the toe there's only the, the side panels here and and the quarters here only there are some decorative elements and of course the back seam and the job is you know it's well done most of them have a single row of stitching all here apart from this area that has a double one and also one at the back and as you can see here this is a sort of like a leaf design at the back seam which is a nice touch and i've seen a very similar one before if you see my george leon uh, review and also there are four punched holes in the shape of sort of like a star here at the side panels in both sides and both shoes uh, which uh, this particular design I've seen almost a carbon copy somewhere else and uh, I'm not going to mention where but uh, overall this is really nice I really like the uh, stitching on the weld it's very very well done and even here at the joint it's quite clean there is also if you can see the small strip that goes everywhere the storm weld and the thread that they've used in the you know the actual weld uh, it's it has a sort of color similar to the uppers and it gives it a really nice clean aesthetic and the sole is you know it appears a bit chunkier here and thicker and they've also sort of fudged the edges which is a bit more uncommon when it comes to rubber soles and here you've got a really nice sole uh, from vibram uh, which resembles the dynat as you can see with the studs here and here but it has a it has a bit of a different texture to it and it i don't know i haven't tried it yet in slippery surfaces but due to the texture it feels that it's going to be a bit grippier and i also find uh, vibram uh, to be a bit uh, you know more durable and long lasting very nice and uh, what about the inside the inside is always difficult to show you uh, i guess you can see here from the hints of the color that it has sort of like a more burgundy or wine red lining to it uh it's pretty nice and inside i'm gonna show you the inside it's inside it has a more quilted look to it uh just like the norman villalta ones that i tried but also in a burgundy color half inch so Overall, very, very nice uh, pair of chaka boots. The trimming on the top is very nice. Uh, there is no pull tab, which, thank God, there's no pull tab 
uh, so my trousers don't bunch up. I think pull tabs are a bit of a gimmick these days unless you have Chelsea boots because you should always use a shoehorn when you're doing, you know, when you're putting up or you're putting in your shoes. Overall, very nice. You can see that both of them here, uh, they have a nice profile. As far as the last goes, so this is the 312 last. Here is from the back again. Better here. Very classic round last, round shape, uh, medium round to round, I would say. And another one here. And it's a classic design for more contemporary British, you would say. So if you like those types of you know shapes, uh, I think you will really like this. And for this particular model, I think it shoots it well. Uh, and it just looks good. Look at it. It's a really nice piece of footwear, right? Very nice small details. Uh, I think you can also buy you know, accessories like matching belts and uh, shoe trees from Cobbler Union as well. Shipping was also quick and that's about it. Uh, very nice, very clean. Looks like a high quality item for around the $400 mark and I think you would be very happy with your purchase. So let's move on and discuss the rest. And that was it. You know, it's, it's, very, it's very fascinating because uh, I want to talk first of all about price thing. Generally, Cobbler Union shoes, uh, they cost about 395 US dollars when you buy them, uh, you know, when you buy the shoes, and 425 to 475 when you buy boots. Uh, the, you know, the bigger boots cost more. Uh, I found very interesting that despite, you know, all the different uh, brands uh, also increasing the prices and, you know, the whole economic situation uh, with COVID and everything, They've stand, they stand firm with their pricing point and it hasn't gone up at all, which is, you know, it's pretty phenomenal if you're a, a guy that wants to buy new shoes and can also get a deal, you know, if, if there is any sales or not. And this particular price point is very, very uh, difficult and competitive because at the $400 mark you have, you know, Carlos Santos Hungry, you have uh, Carmina, you have... Allen Edmonds, which is a juggernaut in the US. And you have TLB Mallorca Artista, also made in Spain. You have Justin Fitzpatrick uh, and much, much more, right? So it's a very, very competitive industry. And what I think is that they've really targeted Allen Edmonds because their shoes actually cost 395, so exactly the same as Cobbler Union shoes. Uh, that's, I think that's a very smart decision because you have to be out of your mind to buy Allen Edmonds at full price over any of the brands I mentioned previously, including Cobbler Union. Uh, as you saw in the close-up and you know how I said things, I cannot really find something bad to say about this particular pair that I have and I received. The suede is phenomenal, uh, at least to the touch. We'll see how it ages. It's really, really nice, really, really soft. Uh, it's overall a solid boot. It feels substantial to hold. It doesn't feel like it will break at any minute, right? And the trimming is nice. Uh, I like the quilted small details as well uh, in the padding. I like that they use the different lining color uh, compared to the usual orange or tan, you know, natural color. The laces are nice. The design is overall pretty nice uh, with, uh, with a bit of modern touches as you saw, even a bit at the back with a, with a different seam. Uh, the only thing that uh, it's not like I didn't like, but it's not what I usually go for, is a rounder last, like the 312 here. I'm more into more almond shapes, which are also available, uh, but if you're looking for a casual boot that you can wear every day with pretty much every casual outfit, I think this checks every possible list. And I really like that they went for a generally more expensive, I think, Vibram uh, rubber sole, which mimics the Dynite, as you can see, but I feel that it's a bit more durable. So what you have here is a pair of very good shoes uh, in a good price point and very good quality overall. And I haven't seen many people complaining about the quality and the QC, um, but there are you know, a few rare occasions where uh, something happened or something didn't go so good. 
but as I always say, it's how the company deals with it, right? There is, uh, there are always going to be problems or you know just small things that need to be fixed, but it's how the company responds. And so far, what I've seen, Cobbler Union has always been you know uh, ready to to help the customer and rectify any mistake that you know they did or they missed, maybe like a QC issue. So they're also good guys from what I've seen so far. And what I like about Daniel himself uh, when we talked is like, he still looks very passionate about what he's doing. Even eight years after he started, he, he sounds exactly like when he started. It's, it's really nice. And I hope to be the same when I, my company is uh, like eight, 10 years old. As far as, uh, you know, let's talk quickly about availability. Uh, because Cobbler Union is a more direct-to-consumer uh, company, so you will only really find them directly through their own website. For those of you in Europe, uh, when you enter the website, you should get a pop-up that uh, says, do you want to change your location to Europe? Otherwise, you just stay in the US one. And that allows you to not pay any import taxes, though you pay VAT when you're buying from Europe, which was an issue for me. And uh, apparently there was a small issue with uh, that pop-up before, but now it's fixed. But I will leave the European site link in the description as well. And now, uh, probably the most important thing of them all is sizing. Uh, first of all, I thought that, uh, you know, this particular model uh, was on the Soho list, but when it arrived, I checked the box and it said 312. And it was strange because I thought, you know, it's a bit too round, I'm not sure, didn't matter. But it is indeed the 312 last. And if you go into the website and you check what they say about this, they say that this is quite a wide and roomy last. And you should probably size down half from your regular UK. And that is absolutely true. And like I wrote in my review, I'm willing to eat my own shorts if you take these shoes true to size UK. <laughs> So, for those of you that don't know, I'm usually UK 8. And these are a UK 7.5. And, and I can tell you that they are still roomy, but in the right way. That I don't get any heel slip or anything. But I do have, you know, extra space on a bit on the toe box. A bit more in the width, which I actually really like. And it's not very tight on my ankles. So, it's a very nice, comfortable fit, which you should expect from a rounder last. And for those of you that have tried the Carlos Santos 401 specifically, you will find them just a tad roomier ar around those areas. So definitely size down half from your UK usual size and one and a half size from your regular Allen Edmonds, Park Avenue, Strands, etc. Quite straightforward. As always, reach out to the retailer if you're not sure and ask them about sizing. And that's about it. Uh, I think that all men, unless you really live in a tropical environment, you know, all year, should have a pair of suede shoes. And specifically, I think dark brown suede chakas are, they are a masterpiece. Uh, it took me a while to get one. I only had Chelsea boots in similar color and uh, leather. But this is, I think, a must. If you are the kind of person that likes specifically uh, texture clothing, like denim i think denim matches best or even contrasting chinos with a lighter shade or darker shade i think these are fantastic and they will match perfectly and since they have a more you know uh, rubber sole and a good suede is also quite water resistant uh, i think it's perfect for two to three uh, seasons during the year which is great so they're very versatile color very easy to match and with different outfits, uh, even if you know it's a more floral or patterned shirt or something a bit more formal, a bit less more casual, everything is possible with a pair of dark brown suede chakas. And that's about it. And sums up my review. I think that uh, uh, you know I can actively endorse this brand based on what I see and what I feel and what I tried, and you know, being a direct competitor to the things I sell in my own website at The Noble Shoe, uh, which is Carlos Santos, 
I can still recommend it to you. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a good brand run by good people that really have you know a certain passion about their job, and it's overall a good shoe. I I really cannot talk about you know more how the suede is so nice, and I really feel it's nicer than my Crockett and Jones uh, bench grade uh, suede for sure. Very very nice nap. I think that if you spend your money, if you decide to spend your money on Cobbler Union, you will probably uh, you you will not be disappointed. That's why that's what I feel. Uh, it's it's a bit a pair of good shoes. You can probably buy something good, I say equally good for less money. But if you have the budget for around four hundred dollars and you decide to, to splurge on these, I think you will be very very happy. Or one of maybe their uh, museum calf leather shoes. And that's about it. So, I would really like to hear what you guys have to say and your comments and thoughts about this particular model or maybe the brand. Maybe you have a good experience, maybe you have a bad experience, share it with me. And if you're new to the channel, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more video reviews and not only shoes coming soon. And before we go, I have another dad joke of the week. So what do you call James Bond taking a bath? <laughs> Bubble O7. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I will show myself out. If you have another dad joke that you would like to share, please leave it in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.